Hello and welcome to a guide for Dune Spice Wars. We are going to, uh, I'm going to play the Smugglers and I'm going to use Banerjee and Turek. So we want to have higher rewards from plundering villages and checking out discoveries or point of interest. And of course the Smugglers because they are very well suited to push for an early quorum, which is in fact what we want to, sh what I want to show off here. It's basically you when it gets unlocked in 30 days you want to have already quorum support therefore buying cheap shares and pushing the game into a certain direction or, or even if you don't aim for a quorum victory type you can still pressure the game into that direction to make the other players waste money into f shares which therefore is not getting invested into their economy now what we need is a second ornithopter, we are going to take two scavengers and then we are going to check out the surroundings of the village. I'm going to show it in single player here because I'm going to show it in a multiplayer game at this second video. Because I want to explain all the decisions I am making with enough time to explain them. So a second after you discovered the first village, you want to check out the surroundings because what we want to find is a village we can plunder from basically the get-go. This one is a candidate for that. It's a little bit unlucky that the other villages are relatively far away. However, that's still manageable and nothing to... Oh, didn't sense the second one. Right. This one is in fact in range of the base here, which is... In our favor here because it's going to speed up the process quite significantly therefore we can rush towards the first village even faster now second is we want to get a special province in this case it's this one and we're also going to use the second one here for exactly that purpose and due to the fact that we had the first village in the range of the main base, we are in fact going to loot this province here on the path towards the special region. We are going for composite materials into chrome support immediately as soon as we can. And we are building not, not a spice, um, spice thingy first. Instead we are going for a plus creed factory first. We're going to loot this one and then we are going to move into the special region to take it over. We probably need a little bit more authority, therefore beelining immediately here is not wise in this regard. Now, make sure that your ornithopters, as soon as they are finished here or in the regions you are discovering, check out all the available points because it might be points of interest that we want to take out. For example, this one is quite nice because we are going to get plus creed from it. And in fact, because it's plus creed, we can afford to build the spice uh, refinery here. Make sure that auto discovery is on in fact, because else you just uh, lose time. There's another one here, which is going to give us money. Very, very good. Exactly what we want to have. If you run into a point of interest, which is giving you a uh, science, most of the time that's a military bonus, like here, you can just check them out, but you shouldn't just, uh, you shouldn't yet um, unlock them, in fact. Now focus with all three into, um, yeah, that on one guy, basically, to push as fast as possible here. We are going for the range units second to be as fast as possible. Now, what you need to take care of uh, if you that you have enough spice. In fact, here's the desolation, which is unattractive in that regard. Also, we want to check out the border regions here because we maybe want to plunder them. Okay, there's this third one. And now we're going already going into the second phase here. We are going to take this village here. And in fact, we can plunder this province here and now as soon as this one is finished and taken over we are going to check out the different camps here to get some rewards and then we can probably going to plunder this province here which is going to be quite useful come on yes, do it right, and you're going here yeah, we're going. there we don't have enough money currently 
and we don't have enough plus creed but as soon as one of the thingies is finished come on also add the spice crew here and there we go now, as soon as you are finished we can move out to check it out and build the research center that's the name now we have to evaluate the situation we are in we are now 17 days away from the uh, unlocking of the Fuhr market. We are basically broke. We don't have enough spice yet. However, that can be fixed because we can just either hope for something which is going to give us spice, which could be a point of interest. However, that's a little bit um, RNG related if you really want to trust on that. So that might be risky. The alternative is just to, for example, this one here could be a spice trader or black market trader because it appeared later, I think. So, but you could also just add, uh, go to 100% um, spice tax here so that you stockpile enough. You still have 12 days available, which is more than enough. The income of that harvester is high enough to support that. Now with the units we have currently, we are going to loot this province here. Alternatively, we could take it over because it has a research hub bonus. And that's in fact a very interesting decision we have to make now, because you definitely need to check out the provinces here. There's another one here, which is a, which is a research hub. And in fact, this one is probably more attractive. Therefore, we are going to loot this one, we are probably going to loot this one, and then we are going to take this one to build more signs, which we definitely need. Also, we can then build a maintenance center in Dalha here, which is going to cover both of these provinces here. Now, however, what we need to take this province is in fact water. And we have here the Great Volcano, which is going to give us fuel cells. However, we are not going in the fuel, fuel cells path yet. It's an option which you can easily take after going to form here or going into underworld contacts and but you could also um, just ignore it you you can get quite rich with witches of arrakis here in this combination or going into underworld bribes for example it's there are a lot of paths to make money early on now let's continue here we are going to loot this one and then we are going this here and take over this province. That's the path I'm going to take in this game. Now the big decision that you really have to make now is because we got quite a lot of plus creed from the point of interest and we are going to get another one here. In fact, we are going to build water here. And afterwards we are going to build here, in fact, a maintenance center. So, if you don't have a point of interest which has plus creed as a reward, you definitely need a second plus creed factory here just to have enough plus creed to build research centers and stuff like that. Here, in fact, we have a, a decent bonus for the science. In fact, we are going as a second building, we are going to build a research center here, a uh, research lab, however, however it's called. And in fact, we are now going to check everything we can right, you're also using this one here now we got this, an agent and you can make decisions here you could go for authority if you want to take provinces relatively early but you could also go into forum here to get more money depending on what you prefer i'm going to prefer money here because i want to have as much as possible and when forum unlocks and afterwards I'm going to move into authority because then the expansion phase normally kicks off pretty, pretty damn well. So we are going for more money here. Let's go. It's a bit unlucky that we have to move around here, yes. Ready to go. but Let's move. you can't have everything Copy. perfect. What we want to find yes. is the other village, which is probably here. So let's loot it. Oh, Copy. we have to check out the point of interest here first. Okay, as you can see, our spice income should be fine. We are going to be far above what we need. So we can reduce it here to a healthy value of like 30%. Yeah, that's fine, in fact. What's next? 
Now you have to be careful sometimes that your units do not get too weak here. Therefore... Oh nice, another Ornithopter. We are going to pick this one up as fast as we can. And we're also going to pick this one up. However, we are not going to unlock this one yet. Because we don't want to invest into military yet. Okay, the water building has finished. We are going as set into a research hub here. And we are saving up here, in fact. We're going to loot it. And as soon as the loot is done, we are going to move back to our main base here. Now, one is going to check out this one. You are going to check this one out and you are going to heal here. And then we can maybe already take over this province or we're going to loot this one first before Atreides, for example, is looting it. Now this one is quite far away currently, therefore we are not going to immediately take it. Yeah, I know that you're losing supply. I hope you will survive. It's really nice to get another Ornithopter because that helps you in discovering stuff. In fact, we can check out what is east here. And now we have to hope... Ooh, another special regent. And another village here, nice. That's very helpful for later on because we could take this run for the production bonus. But also just for more money. Now we are going to take these two here and we are going to take the reward here. Now don't. That's a very common mistake here. You could resolve this one but it's going to give you four days of development here and that would pull you into survival training which would increase the cost of pro arm support. And pro arm support currently we still have four days here left and then it will be like 12 days on this one therefore 16 days. But we only have 10 left, but our research lab is almost finished, therefore there is going to be enough time to do everything. Yeah, we are still fine, so all is good. Okay. Now what you can still do, for example, in this case here, you can pull him out a bit to get support from the main base. That's most attractive in most cases. Now what you want to check out here is for example we want to lose this one again at some point and of course you also want to check out what you want to go into for example we are going to use this one for even more cash now we are going here we are also not going to check out this military development and just wait until we have the text we really want now what are you in fact aiming for we got 2.6k now. Oh, sorry. We got 2.6k with another 1k available as soon as we check out these two. We can also add another crew here, which I didn't see in time. And we can, in fact, reduce the spice tax as soon as we are above 80. Now, we can pull off another plunder here, most likely. Yes, 8 days to 5 days. So we can plunder this village once again. We have to make a hard decision if we really want to plunder this one again. But most importantly, we want to get into this province here to make even more science there and get our, well, our research started up and push into the important direction. Now, therefore we are going to move up here. We are going to check out this one just to get also more plus greed, which is very useful. And I think that's all the point of interest we got for the moment. In fact, the Harkonnens are up here. It's all fine. There's a road coming up. Sometimes you get like economy developments or something which could be useful. In this case, I'm not going to bother with it because it's pretty random here. And I only want to play until we have unlocked Truam and I just showed you where we can be at that point. Good. Okay, we are going to take this province, we are going to build a research lab here and we are going to check it out here. And now what would be interesting is what kind of trades. Here's a bar uh, recruitment office bonus in here, therefore this province also has money income which is very very interesting in this regard. Okay, let's and let's take it here, send yeah. one of the soldiers already to check out this thingy here. And 
yeah. This province got taken, so he has shield war. We are not going to go across from of that currently. And there's already the polar sink. So we are relatively shut in already. And now we have a problem because one of these guys is going to the south here, which is pretty far away. And let's just take it and build another research hub here. Now we have to intercept this guy here. It will, we are going to lose a lot of stuff for a moment, but it's fine. Then we are going to use this one to loot this province here. And then we are basically at the maximum we can pull out of this opening here. However, that's still going to be a lot because we have like four, 5k of money. So Shroam is also almost done. Plunder it, please. And can we? Uh, probably not. We are going to send our units here as soon as we can. And that's going to be quite an attractive starting location. It's not the best I ever had, in fact. When I checked it out and played around with it, I had better starting locations. So now we, we got the core done and now you can make some decisions based on what you can see yet. That's basically determining how you want to continue. Now let's have a look at the map here. For example, there are two special regions here. Also, there are two enemies very close by. So there's maybe early, um, maybe early warfare if you Afraid, if you are afraid of that because everybody closed started very close to the middle just like one tile away But also you have two very strong Provinces in the back here. You have uh, two how are they called rare elements here? That's really really good Then it's also you have the Crescent Ridge here, which is going to give you more water But also you have the volcano for more fuel cells therefore you are probably pretty destined for a very money rich start now what can you do here you can either go for riches of arrakis because there are one two special regions which you can easily secure you can contest maybe two here if you want to therefore we would get plus four salary production four percent plus the res uh, production bonus in that special regions but also plus 40 cash on top for just getting riches of Arrakis. We'd also go into energy markets here plus 20% and plus 2 salary per spare, per spare part so if we were to check it out let's yeah let's just check it out here in fact so we would get 16 here that's basically 32 money if we ignore the upkeep it's in fact even more it's quite a lot of cash for a small tech and you can build up on it but in the end you are definitely interested in the flat values for salary income therefore what i probably would do in this starting location here i would probably pick up riches of arrakis and underworld contacts and energy markets therefore going relatively deep into economy and the reason why i wouldn't go for tinkerer teams and crew training program here is that i cannot see a second spice field yet so maybe there's spice in here i don't know if it can spawn in here but all there all their spice in here but it's definitely not immediately or maybe that's a neighboring province maybe it's in here so <clears throat> in the end it could be quite attractive. So in fact, I'm going to, I would do that here. So first I'm going to pick up riches of Arrakis and then I'm going into underworld contacts and energy markets. And afterwards I would move into the red technologies to pimp my military, maybe pick up intelligent network because it's relatively fast. In fact, we got statecraft development upgrades here. So how long is that? 16 days. In fact, I'm going to do it this way because the upgrade on the intelligence network is giving us plus 10 on the Huron infiltration and Huron infiltration is where we have two agents currently to get plus 20 and then we would 
another 20 on top, which can add up quite fast. Now, the question now is, do we maybe want to already check out these two? In fact, yes, because we want to have the money. So we are going to check out both of them, which is going to push us into survival training and not ideal, we get guerrilla tactics. It would have been probably better if we would have gotten some boost into organized looting or army logistics because you really want to go into ground command relatively early if you want to go strong on military. Of course, that's increasing our riches of Iraq slightly, but that's fine for the moment. And in fact, let's play it out because there's still like one, two days which we can play. And let's in fact continue. Okay. In fact, we are going to pick up the second research lab here too. We stood positive on money relatively decently. And Troam has in fact opened up. Now, as you can see, the first 20 shares here would now cost only 500. We have 5k cash, so we can go deeply into buying stuff. It's a problem of single player now that it's going to pause every time I'm going to check it out. But basically what you can get is around 200, 120 shares most likely. Okay, this one is plundered. We could plunder this one again, but probably not. So let's just continue buying. If you, if you are in multiplayer, you can just leave it open and therefore then just click on it as fast as you can. And now you are in a pretty good spot. <clears throat> and we are going to ignore you. But of course, in multiplayer, you could get, for example, it might be worth to invest, for example, the authority into a non-aggression pact with Corinno, so they maybe boost your province if they have Irulan. So now we got 120 shares, which is a really good starting location. You could go deeper, it would cost you like 1k if you want to wait until 20 are available again. The other alternative is to go into the Chrome branch here, which is going to increase your spice income. And also increases your income from the Chrome infiltration. Also slightly increasing the dividends, which is only plus six now, so it would only be how much more? 100% uh, more, so you would get another six on top of that. That's not too much, but money is money in the end. And that's something you could do. The other alternative is now that you, for example, decide to go relatively heavy in red because you are afraid that there might be conquests on the horizons. However, what I would do in this situation is I would probably constantly loot this province here. Therefore, it cannot be taken, even though I risk a fight with the Atreides. You already have a border with the Harkon and maybe you can pull off a non-aggression pact with him. I would probably give up on shield wall in this case, even though it's extremely strong, but you don't necessarily need it right now. What you want to do is you want to get this province, you want to get this province and you want to get this province and probably the spice field up here. Therefore, that's where you want to expand to in the next months, basically, or weeks rather. You already have 81 authority here from uh, looting this one and this one is probably yeah, 10 days left. You can even decide to loot this one and you don't take it up here, even though it's a relatively decent province with the decent buffs here. Um, but it's getting costly now already and you rather want to, for example, get the second spice field up, which also has recruitment. I think this one also has recruitment. And yeah, that's your location where you can continue from. And you got 120 shares, you got a decent income for the moment. And now you have a lot of options what to do. Now, to dive a little bit deeper here, what you could do also is, for example, you could build the administrative hall if you want. You could build it here now. And instead, for example, go for underworld bribes. You can even research that without the um, authority, uh, administrative hall, I mean because currently we have the statecraft development bonus. <coughs> you could also go for spying logistic if you really want to, or you could go into underworld 
boss bosses if you want to build some underground headquarters for example if you want to stay in blue for example but i would probably recommend to go into red afterwards and rather play relatively aggressive because after riches of arrakis and underworld context you can pick up energy markets as soon as you have a healthy supply of fuel cells getting this one done is going to boost you up significantly in fact we can play it out yes. until that one is done and we can aim for this province here to take it out and in fact i'm going to build um, is it really worth it five four five seven no in fact i'm going to build the shoram branch here and then probably the harvester work in the second slot to get uh, another 10 percent of salary production from the two economy buildings bonus probably not immediately but i'm going to well, it's a hard decision you could also build a barracks now or like the looting building depending on how hostile you judge the situation you are in therefore in this case i'm going with forum here because i'm greedy going to take this province and wait until we have riches of arrakis unlocked and then we can check out the situation we have also i'm going to push further into plus creed because we really need it i got the most important one here and yeah for the moment i'm not going to build more stuff because we don't want to waste the money or the plus creed currently Let's take the province. Also, there's another point of interest here which we can take. There's also a water seller caravan which we can use for more authority. Therefore, we could unlock this province or the spice field immediately when we want to. Or we could go into Kradak down here, depending on what you prefer. In fact, we maybe want to check out this province because if we take this one after two the loss afterwards, then we can maybe loot this one up there, which is closer to the border of the um, to the Harkonnens. Now we have run out of authority in this case, so that's not exactly perfectly planned. Therefore we have to wait a bit until we can take the province. But what do we have now? Riches of Arrakis is in fact done. Therefore we do have bonus income with plus 21 in fact first quest has also arrived and we had to recall our harvester in fact now let's just wait and get the province and then we are going to make a cut also always pay attention to the quest for example this one is a really nice one because you get signs for only one case solari it's an extremely nice quest to get early on if you can yeah if you get it early so there we go, we are going to take it. In fact, we have a spice black market here, which is interesting if you ever run short on spice, for example, because you get attacked a lot or do you have harvester problems, then you can buy some spice here for a decent price. And there we go. Now we can move our advisors back here because we don't necessarily want to go too deep into authority here because we don't want to paint target on us too hard. We almost got 5k now by only owning a handful of provinces already and that's very good yeah of course there will be more shares available over time because at, in the beginning there will be a lot of shares getting sold so you could continue buying the prices are dropping again so check out that you always try to loot as much as possible that you pick up points of interest here like these two are very very good of course in a multiplayer game other players will start buying but you can easily secure like 20 percent if you want to and in fact now our our, our income is 124 on the 10th of february which is really really good you got intelligence network which also gave us a boost and now the point is where you really have to think about do I want to switch into the red tree already or do I really want to be greedy and maybe go for energy markets here or if you have like three spice fleets in the region here so if you really get lucky for example this one wouldn't be 
um, rare elements, then you, instead it would be spice, then I would definitely recommend to go instead of energy markets, then I would switch into tinkerer teams instead to get a, even more spice income, get the spice silo to improve your income that way. Yeah, and that's it. That's an opening strategy for the smugglers. And even if you go after underworld contacts or energy markets into military, you are going to be very strong. Because you can easily, by looting some provinces, you can continue building your red buildings here. You should definitely build the barracks relatively early and the recruitment center, command post, everything is relatively easy to unlock as the smugglers because the command post is here. Ground command gives you the recruitment center and that's what you really, really care for. Now, what you want to maybe place into the districts here, you could, for example, build the better loot underground tunnels into the red slot here relatively early when you have like three villages available, available which you can plunder regularly. Um, and then put the other three up into the top row to get more bonus here, plus two power, which is very useful for your snipers later on, which you want to build here. Or you could decide to, for example, build two red buildings here, or even three red buildings, and rather put like blue buildings in here, or economy buildings in here, if you don't want to build them here. There are a lot of options what you can do as a smuggler. And if you really want to push red really, really, really fast, in this case, I would recommend to build the barracks here. Immediately go for guerrilla tactics to get the command post, build the command post here immediately as soon as you can. And as soon as the barracks unlocks, you can build the recruitment center here. And that's, then you have three red boosts and then you can push through everything here in an extremely fast. If you want to go, for example, an early push, if you really want to contest these provinces here, if you basically want to roll from the economy you are just starting to build now into a military playstyle. And you can still, at a later point, annex these villages here. For example, you could just wait it out here. 67 days is, of course, a long time, but you could also just loot it to the ground if you really want to, because you maybe just want to pick other provinces and have a happy life that way. So that's the guide. See you next time.